Hello, this is Diego from diegodavila.com. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your website in just minutes. So let's do it. To do that, we need web hosting. And the company I choose and I recommend you is HostGator. I use HostGator for years, it's amazing. And the reason I love HostGator is because the price. They have an amazing price, amazing plans. They are very reliable. They have 24 hours support. They have the chat, the live chat support, so you can just send message and get instant help. And they have the amazing 45 days money back warranty. So that's why I love and I recommend HostGator. If you want, you can use my affiliate link, which is diegodavila.com slash hosting. I may get a commission if you sign using my link and I'm very grateful for that. So let's go diegodavila.com slash hosting. And in here, we will be redirected to the host Gator webpage. In here, we click on get started now. Here we can see the three plans that HostGator have. I recommend if you are a beginner to use the hatching plan because it's the cheapest one and it, it also have unlimited data on your domain. So that's great. All you need to do is click on here on the yellow button and you can see here the registration page. Step number one, we need to choose a domain. If you already have a domain, you can select I already own this domain and that's my suggestion. Just buy your domain in, Ho in GoDaddy or any other platform. But if you want, you can also register a new domain here. So I already own a domain, so I'll use, I already own this domain. In this case, I'll use one example domain that I have. Step number two, choose your hosting plan. In here, we have the hatching plan as the package and the billing cycle. You have the options to choose one month up to 36 months. The higher the terms, the cheaper it gets. My suggestion for now, because I have a coupon code for you, is to try the service with the one month. So you select one month here, enter your username, enter a security pin. Number three, you need to enter your billing information, email, name, address, everything, and you can pay using a credit card or PayPal. Step number four, you can see here additional services from, for, from HostGator that we won't be using right now. So uncheck all the boxes here. If you scroll down, you can see the amount due is $8.76. So I want to you to use a coupon code that I have exclusively for you right now, which is Udemy 10 off. So it's Udemy 10 off and look the price here when I validate it goes to one penny. So if you want to pay only one cent for your first month of the HostGator service, you can use the Udemy 10 off. Again, this is my affiliate coupon, but it will save you a lot of money. You can check mark that you have read the terms and conditions and click on checkout now. After you sign, you will receive an email from HostGator with the subject hostgator.com, your account info. And this is a very important email. Here we can find your username, your domain, and your password. I'll show you how to change the password in a minute. Also, you can see the name servers. The name servers are very important because they are where your website actually live. The next step is to use your name servers to point to your domain. So let's do that right now. You go to your domain register. On my case is godaddy.com. I just purchased my domain there. And you can see my domain here. In this case, all I need to do is click on manage. And this process is similar if you have another register. And here you can see the name servers. So all you need to do is click on manage again to change and update the name servers. Make sure you are in custom and edit name servers. Here you can just copy and paste the name server number one and name server number, number two as you find here on your email. When you're already making the changes, you can click OK. And here are your new name servers. Sometimes the new name server doesn't show immediately in here and that's totally normal, so don't worry. It may take a few hours before you can see the new servers in here. Now we go back to the email and click on your control panel. In here, we log in with your username and your password that are on the email also. 
and now is the time to install WordPress. To do that, we look for the quick link icon. It's under software and services, and you can see the quick install link is in here. So click on the quick install, click on the install WordPress option here, click on install WordPress, and in here you will see your domain. Just select your domain, enter your administrator email, block title, username, first name, and last name. And when you are ready, click install WordPress. Okay, now it's installing and you see your installation is complete. Click here to view your notifications. Now we click on view credentials and this username and password is the username and password we will be using to log in into your WordPress website. So write this down, we will need it later. Wonderful, we're almost done. Now we go to your domain, in this case my domain is myudemy.com. And in here we see the new website we just installed. First, we need to log in into the admin area. So we go uh, your domain slash WP dash admin. This is the main, the default admin area for all WordPress websites. Enter the username and password you just received from the installation window. Now that we are inside the admin area, we go to appearance and themes. So we will change the theme for a new one. And here we have three options of theme. You can add more themes if you click on add new, but for now we will select this theme here. So select theme and click activate. New theme is activated. We can visit the website if we want. Let's take a look how it looks like right now. Excellent. So now it's looking better. And let's create the first post. So we go to post and add new. And we say here, this is my first post. Let's select a media so we can add a picture on the post. Select tiles. Click on open. So it's uploading to your server right now. When you see the image, click on insert into post. And here is the image. Now I'll just paste some sample test that I have and I will change the location, the alignment of this image. Wonderful. When you are ready, click on publish. And now we have the first post. Let's take a look on the website here. Refresh. And here we see the first post on our website. You see that it's very easy to use. WordPress is very, very friendly. I hope this video helps you to create your website and you now can go and create more pages using the page tool here and create more, more posts to populate the information on your website. WordPress is amazing. It's used for more than 20% of the websites on the internet. I strongly recommend and it's really important to create your presence online starting today. And I'm sure the website is one of the best tools to do it. I hope you like it. My name is Diego from diegodavila.com. See you in the next video.